What's up, guys? Get some new stuff out the way. How's everybody not going? Fix this real quick. Hmm. Find a video so I can send it. Yeah, and give people a chance to uh, get in the show too. That's why I, I wait for a little bit. Let uh, people get in the show. Sings Sonic today with my daughter. I liked it. So we got a couple things to talk about. One, we we be speaking stuff into reality. Okay, I'm all done. Everything sent. Gave people time to get in. So let's start the show. What's up, D. Johnson? Hey, Earl, Edwin, Daniel. How does this work? How does what work, Daniel? Hey, File 10, Sammy, John K., JJ Cord Cutters, Tim. What's up, Tim? I think the Tim's Tim's a mod now. Hey, Cody man. Zombie. My zombie and Tim is here. Bet girl. Good evening, DB66. Hey, Gary. Gary said, Good morning. I got a message from an individual saying, Shield Remote, we're back. NVIDIA. Saying shit, we're more, we're back in stock by the time I got there. They were gone. I don't know why they're not making that many, man. I, Shield's a hot device, but it's not like fire stick hot. You know, it's fire sticks are selling probably about three to four to one compared to NVIDIA products. Well, the Shield TV, the streaming devices, Amazon devices are selling out way out selling. NVIDIA devices. So it's they're not making enough stock. I don't understand it. And the demand is there. I'm not I'm not sure what's going on. Hey Beck Girl, Adrian. Uh, 
Let's see. Crest Nick. Hey, David. Cornell. What's up, Steven? Could you please see if the NVIDIA Shield remote is available? I've been trying to get it, and the site says it's available. Now I can't order it. Let me double check right now for you. I don't know what's going on. They need to just put it on 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 uh, Amazon. Even on Amazon, the Shield TV sold out right now. They got some at Best Buy, but it was sold. It was probably back now, but yesterday it was sold out. The Shield TV Pro. Oh, also, guys, with the Shield TV dongle, I realized this, too. The Shield TV dongle, uh, the cube thing, it's only 32-bit. It's not 64-bit like the Shield TV Pro and stuff like that, which means 32-bit, I mean, 64-bit apps won't work on it. So, like, the Dolphin emulator, stuff like that will not work on it. It's not in stock. Email me when they're back in stock. I'll tell them to notify me, and I'll shoot you guys a, a quick message. Once I get the email, I'll just post it on a YouTube. Say, what's your age? Okay. So it's not in stock right now. What's up, Big Mike? Diggs vault build is back from Don. Really? I'm about to look at that. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Ma Maurice. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I, f I forgot. I apologize to everyone. Uh, all the ladies. Happy Valentine's Day. I apologize. The remotes sell out within a half hour. You really got to jump on them as soon as you get to the email and buy. Yeah, they, they, they sell out quick. They're not making enough stock. I don't understand it. This release that NVIDIA did, the 2019 release, um, it's the weirdest release they have did. You know, the 2015 release went smooth. Um, 2017 went smooth. This 2019 is like they wasn't prepared all the way with their devices. Like, I, I can't really... You know, their, their accessories, the devices was stalling at first as far as them getting some in stock. So it's been a weird release for the 2019 version in Video Shield TV. And it, it's kind of funny because, well, I, I don't know, unless they trying to, you know, is that's a way to tempt people to buy the Shield Pro. I'm not sure. It could be. You know, businesses do crazy things sometimes. It's in the bell. Hey, son, the green team. Hey, mom. I bought my remote today, B. Davy said. Got remote remote today. Yeah. Got, got my remote today as well, finally. Bought 10. You bought 10 of them? Worked on service. What's up, Jay Strick? Amazon is cheap. Nvidia is 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 king. Yeah, I understand. Um, I'm not saying that Amazon devices are better than Nvidia Shield TV. <laughs> Nvidia Shield TV is uh, that's my favorite device, guys. But as far as production wise, let's just. No, all, all the way, you know, we want to talk about like the business side. Amazon outsells NVIDIA Shield TV at least by four to one, if not more than that. Um, and they're always in stock. You can always go there and find their stuff in stock. You can find their accessories and stock. Maybe because it is Amazon. They have their own storefront. But I don't know. It's been stock issues. There's been a lot of issues with them, with the accessories, even the hardware, even with the Shield Pro. At first, they had some 
um, stock issues. We'll get it in everywhere. So it's just been a weird release. They haven't had issues like that before in the past. I mean, stuff would sell out, but not like this. What's up, Jeremiah? Dezo? Hey, Gail. Cornell. No em emulators for work of the 2019 NVIDIA Shield TV. Which one? The Pro? The Pro's working. <clears throat> I haven't tested none. For the pro, I know for that dongle, that dongle is 32 bit. So if it's 64 bit app, it's not going to work on that dongle. And I don't know why they just didn't try to make it six. That dongle is a lot of money, man. Dongle, what, 150 bucks? They could have made, they could have made a 64 bit device. Steve, are you still doing it, or you have you moved on from that? Um, the thing about it, I can't talk about it too much on YouTube. I'll still talk about it, like on my other pages of social media. But as soon as on YouTube, if I talk about it, um, I get strike. Or they could be doing that on purpose to make them sell out to create more hype for them. People want that remote. What's up, Melvin? I got me a new Samsung S9 Plus. Well, kind of new. How you like it? I love I love those Samsungs. New Fire Stick coming. Fall, spring or fall for Melvin. I could believe it. They they bring what a fire stick out like seems like every six months to a year. DB sixty six says Sony is still struggling to set the price on PS five. Inside sources claim it would be a hundred more than the PS four, and most likely the PS five would be the last console by uh, Sony. Um, I'm not sure, man. We're going to see the last console. It could be because, you know, it's just, it's just, uh, how much more can you do? How much better can you make the graphics? Well, they could, you know, as technology go up, but they're probably going to want to focus, you know, on bringing people to the platform. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know about. I'm gonna have to read into it with the prices. They can't make it too high because it's still a console, you know. One day I'll use my shield to full potential from Batgirl. I'm gonna get you there. I'm gonna start post. I gotta start posting my videos again uh, daily. I got to get my pro back. Remotes were for me, father, brother, couple family members, and couple customers were wanting a remote as well. Shield stores $29 plus taxes. Same one on Amazon for $100 plus shipping. Yeah, because those are probably resellers. Those are resellers on Amazon. Don't pay nothing more than $30 for that remote. It's, it's just a regular remote, guys. I would have got the pro, but I want a regular NVIDIA Shield TV on JP High Tech. I might get may get the pro sometime. Oh, you want one? I forgot who did one of my last NVIDIA Shield TV. I'll probably get one of mine away too, because I gotta get me another pro. 
I got to get me another pro um, just to be on the same page with people in the pro. I got three regular ones. You know, I had a pro. I got rid of it. I'm going to uh, get another one. What happened to Nick New Tech Evolution? He pulled all his videos from his channel from Zombie Bites again. I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask him. I'm gonna have to. I haven't talked to uh, Adam in a while. Um, more than likely, the same thing that happened to me. You know, he probably got hit with um, strikes on his older stuff, and instead of um, taking the risk. He probably pulled, he probably deleted the videos or probably made them private or something like that. But um, their um, strike of videos, even even as the content, it's like, it, 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 don't, it don't even matter anymore. If, um, if the words, it could just be words and they could strike it. And it's, it's just not happened with, um, with streaming channels, it's happening across wide YouTube. So you just got to worry about um, what you say. Um, not, not only that, what you say, what you write. They got certain words. If you write them, it's like, it's you know, it's like a, um, it's almost like a scanner. All it does is scan through things and it doesn't affect everybody at the same time. So it might've just got to them. And, um, probably hit him so fast and he just removed it. Cause once you get started getting just hit and hit, you know, you're dealing with a lot of robotic answers when you try to get something explained. So you just end up uh, removing stuff just to save your channel. So that could have been it. You know what? I did see something he posted on Twitter cause he said he started a new channel. So he's probably just waiting. He's probably just waiting. So I had a few things to talk about today. I need to start making videos of this stuff we talk about too, because sometimes people can't. Um, so sometimes people can't check, uh, uh, catch these live shows. You know, different time zones. Then sometimes people just don't want to pay attention to the live shows because they be long so let's go to it right now and this is what we talked about last week we talked about remember i told you guys i think in the future you know the future is probably not even the future right now it's happening right now but it's going to be ad based streaming you know companies are going to look at stuff like pluto remember viacom got pluto now um somebody got zumo I'm not sure if it's uh, Sony or somebody else, or they're making apps for Sony. But Zumo's got sold too. Um, it's a couple more. Um, who's that? NBC, Peacock. They're they're gonna do a, a, a free. You know, they're doing different tiers, and a lot of people in the future are gonna do this. Do a lot of stuff free, ad based, just to get you on that platform. And they're gonna do it to get you on their platform. They're gonna have different tiers, and it's the spark thing. It's, it's good for both parties, I believe. So Redbox just jumped in the mix, guys. Redbox has a new uh, streaming service, and they have free live TV. They don't have too much. Let's see if I can share. But you guys know Redbox was just a rental service at first and I can't find okay here we go it's just like a rental service at first you can walk into your Walmart or certain places and um you'll see red box now I posted a website on the link too I gotta see if it's an app for it too but it has a free live TV now not too many channels So it says where to watch, 
smart TVs, Android TV. So there is an Android app. I'm going to find an Android app and probably do a video with it. Um, LG, Samsung, Roku, Apple TV, Chromecast, Windows, Apple, Chromebook. So since it says Android TV, it's probably in the Play Store. Smartphones and tablets. It's got to be in a Play Store as well. I didn't even look it up. I just went to their website. So maybe we could go on the Shield and look it up too. Redbox. But uh, I don't want it playing something. So let me stop sharing and see if it's playing. If it's playing something, I'm going to pause it. Okay, I can't pause it. I'm going to scroll. Let's see if I can. Because I want you guys to kind of see it without the content plan. I'm surprised it doesn't have a pause button. But... Yeah, it's going to play the content, so I can't really go to it. But it has, I see about, it's got entertainment, news, kids, a couple kids' channels. So, TV, it's got uh, Unsolved Mysteries, Family Feud, um, a bunch of channels. It's kind of, it's, it's just like Pluto. People co copy in Pluto. And Pluto kind of copied, um, it was this add-on back in the day. I forgot the name of it. And this add-on allowed just regular people like me and you to have our own channels. And you have people, it was it was a nice little add-on, man. It didn't last too long. Well, it did last a while. But this was like when everything first started. And um. You'll be able to say I might have a uh, I might want to organize a channel, and I might want to make it a horror channel. So I'll just throw like a bunch of horror stuff that I want to come on that day. Or you might have certain movies or certain TV shows that people have. So it's pretty cool. Pluto kind of copied off what they were doing and kind of made it their own. And you can see in other services kind of copy off Pluto. So. They're making these channels, and they're kind of like self-made channels. So it's pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see if the shield has it. So go ahead and check it out. I would pull it up for you guys, but it's it's it's, it's showing stuff right away. Let me check it one more time. So it still has movies you can rent, stuff like that, trending now. Um, uh, recently added to demand. So that demand stuff still costs money, looks like. Yeah, the demand stuff. I don't see nothing free on the on-demand on stuff. But a couple free. A couple free uh, for their live TV. And they said it's not available everywhere yet. Let's close that. Let me see if it's on the shield because they said it's on Android TV right now. So we'll go take a look at it. If not, I have to find. I have to find the um, APK.
So I'm just going to go look at the Play Store real quick. It might not be available yet. So it is available. You guys hear me crunch? I'm eating on some Pringles too. I'm hungry. I'm going to look around. Movies. TV. So I don't see the live TV available yet on their app. Or maybe it is and I gotta go find a new APK. So I don't see it live. I'll check it again later. But it's, it's available on their website. So it's going to be a lot of stuff in the future that just offers ad-based streaming because it's worth a lot of money. You know, for people to sit there, they're going to make money off the ad revenue. You know, they're going to collect and sell your data like always so it's money then you just being on that platform it gives you the op it gives them the opportunity for you to get hooked on that material and want to invest in other tiers of their service what you guys talk about hustler tv for What's up, show now? Let's see. So I'm really interested to see. What's the strike of the video? It's the content. It could be anything. It really don't even have to be that content, Matt. Um, it could be certain words that they don't like. It's kind of weird. You just got to catch it. Um, anything that they don't feel, it don't even have to be. It could be something that's legal. But if they feel that it's like they don't want it on their platform, they can strike you for it. It could be just like a a guideline strike or something like that. So. I used to you win a lot of giveaway. I'm going to start trying to do some more. I think I got, some, I got a few devices I need to get rid of anyway. That I'm not using. I hate keeping stuff that I don't use. <coughs> so. I'll probably start back doing that soon for you guys. What's up, Shona? <clears throat> Amazon is talking about a live service now, too, from Batgirl. Oh, definitely. Amazon's going to get something. Amazon's about to get internet, so they're definitely going to have a live service soon. Um, anything that Amazon's, Amazon's trying to get everything amazon and google how's the new apple gaming platform anyone tried it i haven't tried the new i don't have no apple tv or nothing i know it's a lot of people who like the geforce now though and that's that's something else we we're going to talk about we talked about it a little bit last week was the 
Activision Blizzard, they removed their gaming store from GeForce Now. So NVIDIA spoke on it. They really didn't say much. Um, the reason why they didn't say much is because they want this, this, they want Activision to come back. You know, they want them to come back to GeForce Now. So they didn't say nothing really to um, go against them. They just said it was pretty much it was inconvenient. And it was a misunderstanding. There's a misunderstanding, and they look forward to having their games back on the platform. I was receiving a lot of messages. I even sent them a message on Twitter. I, I, I tweeted them. I don't tweet a lot, so when I tweet somebody, it's serious. So I tweeted them, and I asked them why did they remove the games. And uh, people started questioning NVIDIA, saying that um, – you know, they need to make some type of give some type of money to Activision. I really don't think so because NVIDIA is paying for the servers and it's bringing a new group of people to your platform that wouldn't be on your platform. So it's like Activision, the Blizzard, they're hurting themselves. You know, it's just if I'm bringing people to your platform to buy your games. Why would you remove it from GeForce now? You know, people who probably couldn't uh, afford to get get a gaming computer, they're doing it on laptops. And it was a lot of people who sent me messages. It was a lot of people on Twitter uh, questioning them too, you know, saying, hey, um, bring it back to GeForce now. It's a lot of people talking about refunds. And um, they're not going to get no refund due to, you know, Activision then promise anything about staying there but it just looked bad for your people to remove from a service that's free you know you keep it's people using it for free then it's people using it for five bucks you know how much money you want from it you know steam's not removing their stuff or any other uh, gaming it's removing their stuff then it, it just i don't understand it it brings people to your platform Anything that brings money to you, I don't get it. What's up, Urban Kings? So I look forward to them coming back, and I think they will. I think I think they will come back because it just makes no sense that they even removed their games. It, it just... What what you want? They I guess they Nvidia didn't say much, but my guess is it came down to money. I guess since Nvidia has a, a tier for their premium service that you could play up to five or six hours, maybe they wanted a cut of that money since they had their gaming store. But a lot of people, <clears throat> the majority of games people are playing for, on the GeForce now are, now are probably in Steam. Steam's not asking for nothing, not that I know of. So, if I'm, I just don't get it, it just it wasn't good business wise for them. You're bringing new people to your platform, and it's not a good look. It's not a good look to your people who enjoy your games because we're like we don't, you know, it makes you think like they really don't care. You know, that's that's that was kind of greedy to me. Charles said Blizzard should. I, I, should pay Nvidia, yeah. When you think about it, because I'm bringing people to your platform, I'm bringing people to your platform. I'm not asking you to do anything, and it's a lot of people with Nvidia Shield TVs. It's a lot of people with laptops that um that were using GeForce now. So I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's a good move. It was a good move. GeForce now is going to be a great move. Uh, once they get more, they're going to have more gaming stores probably get on board with it because it's bringing people to their platform that wasn't on their platform, you know, unless they're that uptight that they don't want to see it. But I don't I don't see it because I don't see it's still going to take a while for Stadia to make a big hit. Stadia is good, but I don't think it's going to make a huge hit because. 
it's it's trying to start from fresh. All GeForce now is just using gaming clouds. Using using gaming clouds, people had no access to because they didn't have no gaming computers. So it's it's real simple, but but great what GeForce now is doing. What's up, Michael? So I, I don't know, and I, I did tweet them. I, I didn't get no answer. Let me see if I got an answer. I'm like, people were messaging me, and they're like, Steve, will we be able to get a refund from it? And I, I'm not sure. No, I don't think they would probably refund anybody who bought a game from there. I wish I could bring up their page for you guys, because that's all people are talking about. Let me see. Yep, you go to some of their posts. They're actually on. I might have to make a video about it too. Because we got to put that out there. Because it makes no sense. Put the games back, man. Watching the Steam on my Alienware laptop. Yep, it had GeForce built in and G Sync panel screen. Zombie. <laughs> I almost signed up for the free 90 days, but stopped when I heard the content was pulled. Well, it's still it's still a good to go. Like Activision Blizzard has some good games, but the majority of games you probably play will be on Steam. And Steam's gonna Steam's not gonna remove this stuff so from GeForce now. I actually see some more people joining. Maybe uh EA Sports will probably get um, involved with it, especially, you know, and they need all the help they can get right now. Uh, you know, as far as people, you know, getting more people to play their games and stuff like that. Madden and stuff do well, but it could be doing better. So I see gaming stores like that adding their stuff to GeForce now. And then, like you said, it's a free 90 days. So... Why not try it? Unless you already have a gaming computer. But even if you do have a gaming computer and you game a lot and you have NVIDIA Shield TVs or anything, because it works on the apps, works on other Android devices. I got to test. Actually, I need to test it again because certain boxes I had problems with. But it could be in your living room or somewhere away from your computer and just play on your TV. I have to go, Steve. Have a great night. Girl, guys and girls, stream and play safe. Have a good night, zombie. So we'll see what happened. I think um, if they care about their fans, they're going to put it back on. We're going to put the play, press hand on them. We're going to make some videos about it and talk about it. NVIDIA claims this console will be PS5 and Xbox Series. Your thoughts? What console? <laughs> what console? <laughs> the Shield TV? <clears throat> the Shield TV is not going to beat no PS5 and Xbox. No. But, I mean, it just depends. It just depends what you want. Um Console gaming has more games available, but if you're into just the PC games, Shield TV good right now with the GeForce Now. But uh, console's not going nowhere. GeForce blows Stadia out the water. GeForce is now just nice. Yeah, yeah, Stadia... Like I said, Stadia's trying to build like from the ground up. 
which is cool too, because and if you know, once people start getting greedy and they become licensing issues, um, you have your own content. But when you're trying to build from the ground up, it's gonna take some time. And GeForce now, it was beta for how long? Like over, I think over a year it was beta. So they've been testing it over a year. They launching a, their service, and it's it's coming from stuff people already know about. You know, just the regular PC gaming stores. Oh yeah, rest in peace, Janet DeBoer. Yeah, she died today. A star from Good Times. I believe she was 74 or 75 years old. I'm not sure what she died of. Gaming on a PC is better. <clears throat> I like PC gaming better. But with certain games, it's like consoles going to always be king. Like with sports games, <laughs> I like the graphics better with PC. But as far as when you want to play against people, when you want to play against people that's online and stuff, you can go in the park on NBA 2K on a console, rather it's Xbox or PS5, and find hundreds of thousands of people available at times. And compared to PC, you're not going to see that many. So it's just a lot more people on the consoles because it's more um, price uh, friendly. That's where this GeForce Now comes in, you know. And now you can put these PC games on any device, your Android devices and stuff like that. Your any PC, your Apple devices. And now people don't have to invest in that gaming computer, but you're still getting the same good gaming graphics. You're going to see more people on the platform. More, all the GTA games were removed from GeForce Now as well from Marcus Bell. Yeah, the GTA games got moved a while ago. I think the GTA games, uh, the Grand Theft Auto games, from Rockstar got removed maybe because of the gaming laws. Uh, not gaming laws, uh, the gambling laws. You know, gambling laws are different from country to country. We're kind of lenient here in the U.S. about it. But certain countries, um, Grand Theft Auto is like one of the most banned games as far as you talking about different countries. So maybe since they wanted to stretch the service to more countries and stuff, Rather deal with region blocking, they probably just took it off the service completely so they didn't have to deal with those different laws and stuff. But that's one of the most bad video games you're going to run across in different countries. Um, now I think we'll get that, we'll get Activision Blizzard back once people start complaining a little bit more. Um, the rock star is going to be tricky. Maybe in the future, maybe they'll just start blo region blocking for people who, you know, laws are against it. But that's, that's probably be uh, tricky. DB66, what's your take on the NBA All Star weekend? It was the best NBA All Star game we had in years. I, I don't even watch the All Star game. You know, it's, it, the All Star game events are so boring as far as NBA, because they really didn't compete. But this year they competed. They uh, they uh, pretty much uh, <clears throat> did it because of Kobe Bryant and all the people that's lost on that plane. And if they do that, you'll have a good game. You'll have, definitely have a good game. So they competed, and it was nice. It was one of the nicest all-star games we had in years, a long time. Um, probably since the LeBron era, <laughs> I can't remember, you know, a game that's, you know, that's been competitive. <laughs> um, 
it was nice out here in Chicago too. They had a lot of events going on and stuff. I really didn't get to go to any because um I was working. I was working the majority of the All Star weekend, but it's good seeing the people. Um, there was a lot of different uh, clothing companies that came to Chicago. Um, it was a lot of, you guys know I love my sneakers. It was a lot of exclusive sneakers that were just in Chicago this weekend. So you got to meet people, you know, you're seeing on YouTube and stuff like that. So that's pretty nice seeing them guys. But it was nice. And last but not least, um, the Chicago Bulls got put on blast um, this weekend. It's about time because they don't talk about how terrible the Bulls ownership is. And they got put on blast this weekend. You know, they got the All-Star game here in Chicago. You have no participants. And uh, people started talking about the organization. You had fans screaming fire guard packs. And um, it took notice. Not only that, attendance is finally dropping. You know, we used to have full house at the United Center all the time. It's people getting fed up with it. So we could probably get some new management in Chicago. Let's see. We'll read you guys. Question, Steve. Now that we have GeForce, is there a need for gaming PCs or consoles? Um, yeah, because we don't know what the future holds. Uh, we don't know if other uh, gaming stores will pull a Activision Blizzard. I doubt it because it just don't make no sense what they did because it's bringing a bunch of new people to your platform. Um, but it's going to be a lot of people that's, you know, it don't stream in 4K. So right now, GeForce now streaming in um, 1080p, 60 frames per second. You know, a lot of the PC gamers just, I'm not like that. I pay, I play at 1080p, 60 frames, but a lot of my friends and stuff that PC game, they're 4K mode. You know, they're playing in 4K. Well, the Bulls are not worse than the New York Knicks management. The Bulls management is worse than the New York Knicks management. And it's not even uh, it's not even close. The Bulls management is not cl close to New York. At least the New York Knicks management actually tried. You know, the Bulls management didn't even they didn't even try. They don't they don't try at all. The Knicks, the Knicks problem is people just didn't want to go play for the Knicks. But the Bulls issue is that my issue with them, they don't try. They don't, they're just soaking the money. Did you go to any of the festivities, Steven? Um, I want a shoe. I want a shoe. Uh what day was that? I think it was Saturday. So I won. I'll show you guys. I won the. Um, let me go grab it. So I won a shoe. I think it was, I think it was Friday or Saturday. It was Saturday. I think I won a shoe. I won the um the Jordan 185. So that's pretty cool. Uh it was only 23,000 pairs made worldwide. So and they actually did a special, they had fixed it up. It was at the old Jordan store. If you guys don't know. 
the Jordan store is not the Jordan store anymore. It's actually House of Hoops. So um, what well, House of Hoops is Jordan store now, which is Foot Locker. Foot Locker owns Foot Locker, um, East Bay. Uh, Foot Locker pretty much owns everything except for finish line. So they changed that Jordan store, which was the foot action. They always got the exclusive releases. That is Foot Locker now. So they gave me a pr pretty cool bag. And um, it was real nice. They decorated the um, inside of it. And um, they gave us a tour. They had old little stuff. It was nice. It was a nice time just to go out there. I met a bunch of people. Got me a little pretty bag. And um, this was the box they gave me. And it came in little bags like that. But it was nice just being inside there and seeing all the pictures. They had some artwork. Uh, they had some old jerseys. So they did a, it was real nice, you know. So at least I got to go to there. I didn't get to go to anything else. It was real expensive as far as going to the all-star game events. So that's why I couldn't go. They wanted, man, for the nosebleed seats, they wanted close to $2,000. So I couldn't go to there. I could have went to the uh, celebrity game. I could have went to that one. But I didn't want to spend $200 just to watch the celebrities play. I wanted to see the real players play. But I didn't want to. I, I wasn't going to spend all that money. I watched them on TV. And I had to work anyway. So it came in dust bags. They numbered right here on the dust bag. So that's pretty cool. So this is a nice collectible. And it's called a it's called the 85. It's like a reverse bread. And what had happened was it was shoe, it was a shoe that had got banned from the NBA. And Jordan never actually wore this shoe. But uh Nike had to figure out something. So I forgot what magazine it was at. They pretty much photoshopped this shoe in 85. They photoshopped, got the high cut. And uh, that's where this came from. So people think he actually wore this shoe. He did it. He never wore this shoe. So that's why I really, the stuff that he wore before, I kind of like collect that. This right here, even though he didn't wear it, I'm going to collect this. I don't know if I'll. I might wear it. I might collect it since it's so limited. So at least I got to go to that. I didn't get to go to anything else. They had something else at Navy Pier. I found out at the last minute. And the Navy Pier thing. It was just so crowded, though. It was so many people out there. But that was real nice, the Navy Pier thing. I believe Shaq was down there. Um, but I had to work that day. Story goes that they charged him 10000 a game to wear them. Nike covered the bill. Yeah, but he um, Nike covered it. But they had made a, they had Photoshop a picture of those. He didn't wear those actually. But what size is that shoe? It looks huge. I wear size, it looks so big because it's an 85 cut. So the 85 cut, the first Jordan ones were a little bit bigger. They were bigger than the one, the Jordan ones we see now.
So let me read. Clients calling, gotta go. I'll see you later, man. Let's see. He says, Steven, nice belly. <laughs> I'm going to get in the gym this summer, man. I'm going to get back in the gym. It's my daughter. My daughter was having. I know what a lot of you guys go through now. Because she, you know, as she got older, just more stuff, more activities and stuff, you know, to take her to and work. So I, I feel the parents' pain now as, as the kids start to get older. Question, Steve, what are your top five favorite things about the Shield? Uh, which Shield? Are we talking about the Shield Pro or the Shield, just the Shield in general? He didn't wear the, the reverse 85. From Yup, he didn't wear these. People are saying he wore these. He did not wear these. He wore, he wore the regular ones before they got banned, and he wore the he wore the band. But they have photoshopped these in a the paper. I'm gonna pull out. I, I can't find the article. He never wore those. The ones that the eighty five. He never wore that. What's Clow War World? Where are they at? Somebody telling me to delete them. What did they do? Clow World. I'll put them on timeout. Bulls management is bottle 10. Bulls management is the worst. I don't know no management that's worse than the Chicago Bulls. He wore the... No, nah, he didn't wear the... I'm going to look it up, yup. I don't think he wore those. I think those was Photoshop. Nike Photoshopped it after he was getting fined. He never wore the reverse, though. He, he wore the regular ones, the band, but the reverse was a Photoshop Nike did. At a, it was a magazine. It was a, a magazine on 85. I finally got full custody of my daughter, finally gave it to me. That's a great job, man. Yeah, p yeah, yeah. People think he wore them. He never wore the reverse ones. I know everybody's story says he wore them. He never wore them. It was an actual, um, I'm going to post you a video. This is a good guy because he actually knows history. A lot of people who, who uh, with the shoe channels don't really know the history. But he never wore them. It was just a Photoshop. We can't classify that he wore them. But we can say it's still... Unique because it was Photoshop in 85. So let me shoot. Let me see. This guy right here. He's an actual collector. So I, it was a lot of, he's the only one who didn't make the mistake of, of saying that he wore them. All the other shoe people said he wore them, but here it go. And I got to look at the bag. I think it shows, tells the story too. Okay. Let me make sure we talked about everything I wanted to talk about. We talk about the, um, uh, the red box. We talk about the Activision. I wanted to talk about. Oh, Axon. I think I'm saying it right. A X O N. 
So Axon is now producing body cameras for police officers. Um, and these body cameras, you know, before a record of it, and they had to get these these body cameras. Now they're gonna be live streaming. These these cameras will be able to live stream. So I'm like, wow. Um, I'm actually surprised it's, it hasn't been something like this. I'm actually surprised, especially since all the cameras, we have a lot of cameras in Chicago as far as the traffic sh uh, cameras. And you run that red light, you're going to get a ticket in the mail. So I'm just surprised it's just not more like for the people as far as these ca cameras goes. But um, let me pull out the article. So with this rolling out, maybe we'll get more of that because they use these cameras to penalize people. But they're not using these cameras to save people. And that's that's something I just can't understand with all this technology out here. But maybe this might be the start of it. Because Exxon, hopefully I'm saying that name right. A-X-O-N rolls out police body cameras with live streaming capability. Shout out to GeekWire. This article's from Monica Nicholsberg. Um, I posted the link of the article for her too. So I thought this was pretty cool. This has to do with it's not the type of streaming we look at, but it is live streaming, you know. So this was just in Cincinnati. So Exxon today announced that Cincinnati Police Department is deploying more than a thousand of the Exxon Body 3 cameras with live streaming capability built in. So that's good. You know, that could save some people. They could save some police officers as well from some bad situations. These cameras start at $6.99. And um, at the time, the devices raised some eyebrows from privacy and civil rights activists. Um, and I don't, I don't get that. I honestly don't get that. You know, the police officer out doing their job, something happened, they turn on the live streaming. And um, you got to meet people in the middle. You just can't say, you know, people are complaining about the crime. But when stuff happens or you try to make a thing, now you violate the rights. I don't get it. So I think this is a good move. I think it's a good move. It'll be good having live feed in case something goes wrong that uh, violates your right. And then it'll be great for the police officer, too, you know, to protect them. So I think it's a, it's a win-win. And I think it's going to have success. And it's going to go to more cities. And then, you know, maybe they'll start actually um, – Maybe they'll start actually using these cameras just on regular places, you know, because it makes no sense. You can get penalized from cameras, but you can't get your life saved. You know, your life can't be saved until it's pretty much over with, with these pre-recorded cameras. You know, they're good for finding, you know, they're good pretty much after the fact that it's happened. So... A live feed would be pretty cool. Yeah, we got concealed to carry, Charles, but it's still just so crazy um, because you have certain places that that won't allow, like say you're on um, public transportation. Like you could have your concealed to carry as far as you can get it, but say you're traveling to work. And you're using public transportation. So you got to go downtown or somewhere. Nobody drives downtown here. So you're traveling with this public transportation. And now they're banned, even for the concealed carry holders, to have your gun on you. So it's like 
you could have it, but it's still certain things that um don't make no sense. The money is better spent off creating jobs so people are desperate to commit crimes. Um, from B Cherry. Yeah, the, I mean jobs are being created as well, B Cherry, but it's a lot of uh crimes that's being committed that don't even have money involved with it. You know, it's just crime. It's just and that's I think that's the difference from the past and today. From the past, at least it was more money involved. So you could kind of like relate, not relate, but you can see it. But now it's a lot of it's a lot of senseless crime. You know, it's it's not it's a lot of crime that has nothing to do with money. It's just crime. So, but them, them speed cameras, then, you know, you got them cameras, man. They, they're making all this money from them speed cameras. Making billions from these speed cameras, man. I got penalized by a camera last month, rent by my school, and I was get, got $40 fine in my mailbox. Yeah. Okay, let me see. So, Tim, who's that Tim? I got to ask again. Top favorite things about the Shield Pro, Steve? Uh, the Shield Pro... Uh, the Do the Dolby Atmos is good. Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision. Um, I like the Android TV format. At first, I wasn't too sure about it, but I like that Android TV format. Um, I like the speed; it's real fast. Both of the Shields fast though. The Shield, uh, the 2015, 2017. Versions are fast. The 2019 version, it's faster, but it's not um, crazy faster. I know they said it's the uh, the the modified Tegra X1 was about 25. I think they said 25 percent more powerful, but it's not extremely that that faster. The good thing that the Shield Pro, the new 2019, also got going on is Adobe Atmos, Adobe Vision. And that AI, you know, to increase the uh, quality of the videos and certain things like YouTube and stuff like that, that's pretty cool. I think that could get better in the future. So that's nice. So I like, I like that speed. Let's see. I said the speed. Um, the Android TV. The hardware is real good as far as the hardware lasts this year. Years I got the two thousand. I got two two thousand fifteen versions, so the hardware is good. And the updates. I got to go with the updates because nobody update uh, has updated their devices like Nvidia. NVIDIA continues updates and they go out their way because um, certain things I'm going to show you. When I say they go out their way, NVIDIA, they do things that you don't see other companies doing. And I can't wait to see that. Also, the built-in pre-record is pretty cool. If you use, I, don't, I stopped using it, but hey, it helps me. Back in the day, before you know, I, I really was got into using my PC and stuff and the capture cards. 
I used to record and stuff from my uh, Shield TV. So that's pretty cool because it's a lot of people, you know, doing, you know, they're creating stuff. It's a lot of creators. Everybody's creating stuff now. And it just don't have to be for YouTube. People are doing stuff for Twitch. Uh, people are just creating stuff for friends, you know, just to show them stuff. So that was pretty cool having a built in recorder. Um, this is stock Android TV 9 that the Shield TV has. But certain little things, like the Task Killer, this is not from Google. This is from NVIDIA Shield TV developers. You know, they actually added this to it. So you don't see companies doing that. You see if they have an Android TV 9 that Google made, you'll just see them pretty much copy and paste that on. And here, here you go. Like the Mi Box. The Mi Box just has stock Android TV 9. It's not going to do all that stuff like a task killer or stuff so you can use alternate launchers and stuff like that for uh, that the Shield TV does. So that's a good thing with the updates. And the GeForce Now was a plus as well, but GeForce Now can be used with a fire stick now, I believe. Agreed. If you take care of your shield, it will last many years. Yeah. I got one that's quite cracked. Uh, my NVIDIA Shield TV right now is cracked. I actually got to sell it again. In um, 2015 version, I had dropped it. And it's still pushing. The new NVIDIA Shield TV was a letdown. No need to really update if you have a 2015, 2017, wanted more RAM or whatnot. Um, so for some people, it's a it's good a reason. Some people who really want that that Dolby Vision, you know, licensing, and that's who it really benefit. Um, other than that, you can get away without get, get away with getting the new one if you really don't need that. Like I said, it is a speed increase. It's not a big, uh, huge amount of speed increase because the regular shields are fast. So I wouldn't say it was a letdown. It was expected. See, what NVIDIA did, they gave us too much too soon. They gave us too much too soon, and we got kind of spoiled, and they didn't pretty much leave themselves any room to grow, to keep on, like like Amazon does. Amazon will throw you just enough, and then once they update the device, they'll give you a little bit more. Then they'll bring another update to that device out, a new device out, and give you a little bit more, and they just keep on giving you a little bit more. NVIDIA pretty much gave you the whole shebang. They gave you the whole shebang at once, besides the Dolby licensing. And the reason why they probably didn't give you the Dolby licensing was because it, it pretty much costs per each device. I forgot. It's not something ridiculous. It's like a few dollars per device to get that licensing. So what every company does is they they break they make a new device. You know, they're not going to give you the option to pay for the licensing on your older device. They're just going to make a new device and make money that way. So NVIDIA went with that for the Dolby, and they really didn't, you know, do anything. But <clears throat> I don't see any device <clears throat> as far as Android TV, unless it's some more gaming devices that get involved with Android TV and stuff like that, streaming. I don't see any regular Android TV trying to get as powerful as... Uh, the NVIDIA Shield TV. I just don't see it because you really, when you think about it, as far as streaming, it is overkill. You know, we don't need 
it's 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 comfortable and you like having all the power, but you really don't need all of it. You can stream perfectly on a fire stick. So that's why you won't see any uh companies pretty much push their device to actually compete with the spe specs of the NVIDIA Shield TV, unless it's some other device that gets involved and they want to pretty much say, hey, we can be the number one gaming and streaming device like NVIDIA, but I just don't see it anytime soon. Hey, RB. What's your thoughts on getting a VPN nowadays? Is it easy to install? It's just like everything else. You know, I said in the past, um, VPNs are great if you're using them for what they're for. You know, VPNs is good depending. If you're downloading a lot of stuff, get a VPN. You know, depending on the laws of your country, get a VPN. Uh, depending on what apps you need, depending on what country you are, like um, Netflix, uh, Disney Plus, certain countries you can't stream these apps, but you probably like these apps. So a VPN serves a purpose you could you could use a you could use geoblocked uh apps by pretty much masking your location so it serves its purpose if you're if you need to use it for what it's used for hey sandy miss octavia how you doing what about the bus tv stick coming out soon i didn't hear about georgia i'll look it up though But you know, I, the Buzz TV and the um, what's that? The formulas that you know, their main purpose is always with the live subs, trying to make their experience better on that. Dolby has specific requirements when you do deals with them, also. Oh, they do, Charles. So, but that's the reason why I'm not going to say it was more of a letdown to me because they could have gave us more stuff with the pro. I believe they could have they, like the gaming controller and everything came out with the 2017 version. I told you guys the specs wasn't going to be too much. I, I, I actually anticipated it being the same specs. And it ended up being pretty much the same specs because it's like, how much more will they give us, you know? But, um, and then, you know, they eliminate their, pretty much their, their, their game because they're going to want to bring out another device. So if the shield's way more powerful than any device in the market and nothing's pressing it to update the specs of the device, being a company, why would you? And then you ruin it for the future for yourself. So I knew the main focus was going to be the Dolby. I knew if it didn't have Dolby, people was going to be peed off. They're going to be mad. I mean, remember me and Superdell said that could be the end of the video if they didn't have the Dolby. But I was more, I was let down. The only thing that let down was the launch. The launch could have been handled different. They could have gave us the controller. I think we could have had the controller and the remote just like the other devices for the 199 since you're replacing the, dev the device. And it's pretty much the same device. So I think it could have been the same price with the um, with the controller. And we haven't even seen the new controller. It was a new controller that actually passed through. I don't know if that's releasing or not. But uh, NVIDIA has ha had uh, products in the past that passed through, and they haven't released them. We were supposed to get another tablet in 2016, 2017. It never it, it passed through. Um, we were supposed to get it. We had the blueprints. We seen everything. It never released. Um, I think that never released, though, because... 
is something that um it's never been said. This isn't a fact, but I, I'm thinking maybe it was something in the contracts with Nintendo that NVIDIA Shield TV couldn't make a portable device if they were producing that Tegra because they used that modified Tegra X1 for the um, the little Nintendo held held the Switch. Hello, server ser series. API keys aren't working. Any other thoughts? You have to probably get a uh, new API and enter it in, y'all. I'm going to have to look up how to do that again. I think you just go to the TM, what's it called? TMDI. No, it's not TMDI. It's TM. It's TM. What's that called? TMDB. I believe you get you can get an API there. Yeah, that's it. I gotta look up how you do it again, though. I haven't got one in a while. I actually need one myself. It's TMDB. So this is the site. Where you sign up for right here. I gotta see how you uh it's TMDB. Yep, yeah, thanks, bit of shit sweet. I gotta see. I actually had a v I had to delete the video though. I deleted it. Um once you get your TMDB key, you just enter it inside the add-on. We got some more trolls. Let's see. Yeah, you have to maintain certain specs during their partnerships. Don't know if there was a conflict, though. I can't see not having a mulligan with Dylan with the NVIDIA team. That's something I really wish. I can't wait till they bring back out a tablet. So illegitimate humans. Yeah, you'll have to you'll have to sign up for that, and then I gotta see how you do it. I gotta see how you do it. They have. Uh, Let me see, because Butcher probably got a video. Butcher probably got TMDB. I probably could do a video about the TMDB. I don't see why not.
don't nobody got the video up anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I don't want to just give you guys any video. I had a perfect video too. That went step by step. Okay, I think this is one. This is Butcher. Okay, this is a good one. Now you'll have to put it in that uh instead of Elysium, you'll have to put it in the YouTube. So that's the one right there. I gotta redo the one I had did. So we're going to get ready to go. It's almost 9.30. What movie shows have you guys been watching? I haven't found no. Well, actually, I started watching The Outsiders. I started watching The Outsiders. That's been pretty good. I went to go see Sonic today. They had to find out a <clears throat> movie day. <coughs> they had the $5 movie day. So we went to go see Sonic. Sonic was good, man, with Jim Carrey. It was pretty good. Um, I want to tell you guys what happened because I know people didn't get to watch it yet. But it was pretty good. It didn't go to go. It went off. Certain things went off the video game. There will definitely be a part two. So that was good. I don't know what movie I'm going to I don't see myself going to see a movie to about May. Because I'm going to go see that Black Widow. You know, besides the stuff my daughter want to see. I'll be taking her to the movies uh, during the $5 day to see her look, you know, look kid stuff. But as far as me, personally, I don't see myself. It's just nothing coming out. It's nothing coming out really. I'm I'm really not even t into Black Widow. It's for, but it's just you know I I love Marvel so I'll go see it. But other than that, I don't see anything. I might give that one movie a chance that uh when everything was going backwards. I think she was like a movie producer or something like that. And now that comes out like in April. What's the name of that movie? I might go see Bond. I don't know. I might not go see Bond. I don't know. <clears throat> Ant Antebellum. I might go see that. But there's not too much coming out that I'm interested in. That Outsiders was good. I got to finish that out. They said a stranger is good. I'm gonna catch that. And I don't know. I'm just waiting too. I'm waiting as well for the TV shows. It was a new FBI show as well. You know, the common law and order type stuff. That was okay. I watched the first couple shows. So I'm probably just going to go back because I'm not really, it's not too many new stuff. I'm going to go back and rewatch the stuff that I want to watch. 
uh, what's my one movie with the uh, what's that name with David Spade? What's the one TV show with David Spade? I know you guys know it by now. I'm going to look it up. David Spade. The one filmed in Chicago. I used to work actually around there. It's filmed in Chicago, out west. It was filmed by, uh, I think that's by like Katsy and Cermak. What's the name of it? Is that David? That's not David Spade. I'm going to find out that name of that TV show before I leave you guys. With the ones with the family. And the father alcoholic. That's in this last season. It's going to do its last season. It's, it's over with for that. That's why I, I wanted to tell you guys about that. Oh, For Life is great, Sandy. For Life just came out. Actually, it's a new show that probably came. I forgot what time. Probably on right now. But For Life is real good. It's going to be real good. Yeah, the Blacklist. I got to go back and watch the Blacklist. What's up, Cal? Shameless. Octavia always gets it. It was Shameless. Yeah, Shameless is on their last season. But what they had, 11? So people disappointed with that. Shameless been coming out, out since 2011, though. See how many seasons it got. It's in this 11th season. So this is the last season. Who's that who plays the head main character in Shameless? That's William. <laughs> that's William Macy. I, I called him David Spade. But Shameless is on the last season. I got to go back and watch Shameless. But I got a lot of stuff I got to go back and watch. I usually like doing that. Unless I really, really into it. Like for life, I'm going to see every episode that comes on. Uh, Prodigal Son. I'm going to see every episode that comes on. But I really like not seeing the TV series for a while. Therefore, I could watch it as is. Like even Outsiders. I, you know, it's all it's in the six episodes. So I could watch a show. I could watch two shows, you know, at once. Then I can watch it. I like doing that. So yeah, I'm surprised they ended off uh shameless. I got a lot of catch up with Shameless, because I stopped Shameless like in the fourth season. And I, I stopped Walking Dead as well before Negan got free. So I can catch up with that until some of my shows, my Snowfall, my Snowfall, I'm going to catch and Godfather of Harlem got renewed. So I'm going to catch those. But those, those probably might not release to the summer. Supposed to be a new gamut movie coming out for McMahon 3000. That's what I heard, McMahon, because, you know, Disney just got a hold of the X-Men. The first X-Men that, that will appear in the Marvel Universe will be Rogue, they say. So Rogue will make an appearance in, uh, I think it's a... Uh, it's a it's an evil cat that Marvel. They're not sure who they want to be... Uh, well, they probably know, but they're not leaking it out. I heard Captain Marvel, or it's supposed to be the bad Magneto, who's supposed to be the first villain. Because remember how the Marvel Universe work. Marvel Universe don't give us the big villain. You know, it always start do a trilogy. Do a trilogy. Nah, more than a trilogy. It connects the movies together and then give us that big final piece. They're going to do the... 
this is going to be the same way. So uh, I'm not sure, but it's got a lot of people. They got a lot of stuff they can do. You know, um, Thanos is going to be hard to come after. But Thanos, you know, Thanos going to be hard to come after, but then he's not. Because, you know, Marvel can do an actual real Galactus now. Because I don't know what Fox was doing with Galactus. That was just terrible. So they can do a new Galactus. Fox um, Fox did Dr. Doom messed up. That was crazy the way they did Dr. Doom. They could do a new Dr. Doom. Um, it's a lot of villains they could do over for Marvel Universe. They could do the X-Men villains. They might... That might be their best bet doing the X Men villains at, at first, and then because Doctor Doom is gonna be a, a big villain, Galactus gotta be a big villain. So we'll see. Gambit will be a great movie. Um, Wolverine's gonna be interesting to see. We can finally get a Wolverine and Hulk movie. It's, it's a lot of things they can do. So I'm going to get ready to go, guys. Walking Dead is coming back on the 23rd. I stopped. I stopped uh, watching Walking Dead right after uh, they kidnapped um, the son. They had kidnapped his, uh, not, the, not the real son, but who was that? The king and the one lady. I forgot her name. But they had kidnapped the, the son, and then I had stopped watching it. I was losing interest. Then I saw and seen it was getting better. So I'm gonna go mess with that. And I, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna get fear of the Walking Dead a chance too. Yeah, Doctor Doom's gonna be a, a you no. Know, Doctor Doom is like one of the the top villains out there as far as the Marvel Universe, or Marvel period. So for him just never really to get a good movie done right, it's going to be nice. And then, you know, Thanos has served Galactus, too, back in the day. So it's going to be a lot of stuff they can do. It's only going to end up selling Spider-Man. Black Lightning. I stopped watching Black Lightning, too. I'm going to get back with that. I'm going to get ready to go, guys. Um, thank you. Thank all of you guys for coming and joining the show. Shout out to all the mods that helped today. Um, Trooper, Tim, Zombie. Wait a minute. Trooper didn't come here today. Trooper at my chat. But uh, thank you for everybody that came, everybody that helped, all the sponsors. What's up, Reed Shield? And... Um, I want to give my blessings for all you guys and your family. I'm reading the comments to make sure I, I hit everything before I leave you guys, too. New Terminator. I like the new Terminator. The new Ter Terminator wasn't too bad. As people uh, say, I saw the photographer today in F Fantasy Island. What that's in the movie theater, Sandy? But I want to wish you guys a great night. Read my chat. Child Boost Dyke. 
What's up, Aaron? I'm trying to read it. Who's Child Booster? I don't know who that is. Good night, Charles. I'm going to talk to all you guys later and tune in next time so I can show you how to make the box yours. Thanks for watching, guys.